Hi everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. So the fuel hose kits that I have put together uh, using aftermarket uh, Tigon fuel hose, uh, in some cases that requires a little bit of a, a different setup than what came from the factory. The 925 series of saws is a, a good example of that. I don't have a tank on hand right now uh, to demonstrate on, so I'm going to use this throttle handle from the Super XL because it'll actually be easier to see what you've got to do. But the old 65593 molded hose that goes into the tank of the 925, and it was used on the 924, the 922, and I think even back into the 901 was using this setup. Before that they had a screw-in barb, which is a little bit uh, easier to work with, but uh, Anyway, this setup works quite well. So I've got Brian up in British Columbia working on his 922, which is the closest American model is the, the XL 924. They're almost identical. So again, I don't have a, a 925 or 922 tank here, but if you've worked on one, you know you're sitting here at the, the edge of the uh, fuel tank and there's a recess and this steel pipe is going into that that molded grommet hose in the tank and that's how it seals up so since we don't have the ability to mold hose we'll use a grommet in its place so this is the, the 68046 grommet that I've sourced uh, that's uh, a good substitute here so a secret to installing pretty much any hose kit is a little bit of lubrication. If you're going through a grommet, you just get a little bit of motor oil and get that lubed up a little bit because it'll make it slide a lot easier. So Brian, if this was your, your 925 tank, you're going to start with the cut end of the hose and you're going to shove it through into the fuel tank. And if it's too hard to get it started, what you can do, see how this is starting to go in. See right here, I can see what I'm doing. I can grab that with my needle nose pliers and keep pulling. In your 925 tank, you're going to have to get an inch or so in. So what you can do is pierce the hose and take a piece of stiff wire and actually do a slow pull and get it in until you can get your needle nose pliers on that from the, uh, the fuel cap opening. And see once, it's, once it starts going it goes so easily when it gets a little oil into that o-ring. It might even be worth lubing the o-ring before the hose even starts. So again if this was your 922 at this point you'd want to get your steel pipe that I know you've got and get that on. Again, this is a cold morning so this hose is a little bit stiff and you could always oil this up a little bit too but it should go on. Hopefully not too much of this has been out of frame. I'm not going to go much further. You wouldn't need to. So at this point, you're going to get it lined up in the clock position you want. And you're going to work it into the grommet. And just about the point that the hose is flush with the grommet, you are done. And that's a compelling argument to pull the hose just a little bit further out towards the bend here. So that when you get your little clamp on, the uh, the pipe it's not going to push this too far into the tank. I mean that grommet has about a almost a quarter of an inch of thickness but I, I've done this, I've run them like this you want it to either be flush or slightly sticking out, no more than about a sixteenth of an inch so anyway that's how you use 
the aftermarket fuel hose kit that I've got for these saws and uh, if you have any questions of course get a hold of me and uh, I'll walk you through the process.